any of you does have pets at home who have which one which pet dog did you observe the eyes of dog and cat glow in night yes, shine in night yes, why one please one by one anything else corn cells human also have do human eyes shine in night some animals eyes shines during night many vertebrates have this characteristics but human beings don't have this one why this happen point is that this happen because of anatomical structure a layer because of anatomical structure a layer which is called as what you know which is called as tap tum lucidum tap tum this is a cell a layer okay tap tum lucidum you know what people commonly ask this question in oral examination what is the tapptum lucidum or this question also why some vertebrates uh, animals eye shine in the night so reason is what tapptum you know tapptum before you understand what is a tapptum lucidum you need to understand some basic anatomy of eyeball because this thing is this structure is found where in eyeball eyeball shines actually if you understand this concept so first you must know what is eyeball the basic anatomy of eyeball we need a diagram to understand this i hope you people know this eyeball actually consist of what eyeball consist of three tunics eyeball have three main layers have three main layers the number one layer is called as what tunica fibros tunica fibrous or fibrous number two is what tunica vascular number three is what tunica retina or tunica neural okay i will explain this look on this diagram the outermost layer of the eyeball is what tunica this tunica fibrous actually consist of two parts one is what sclera other is what cornea other is what if this is the outer layer of here we have lens you know here we have lens fine so this interior part from here to here this interior layer this outer whole layer is tunica fibrosa this whole layer is what tunica fibrosa this area the interior area is known as what cornea this remaining area this remaining layer is known as what sclera this remaining layer is known as what this is the outermost layer this is the which is actually fibrous connective tissue which is actually fibrous connective tissue number 2 we have what tunica vascular this is actually consist of on three different type of layers three different structures one is what choroid other is what ciliary body ciliary body third one is what iris third one is what if you look here actually this this layer this tunic consist of mainly blood vessels and responsible for what 
for the nutritional requirement of the eyes. So the second layer here, if you observe, the second layer will be what? Yes, this tunica vascular actually consists of, of what? Blood vessels. So this portion, the first portion, if you start from posteriorly, this one is known as what? Choroid, which is actually vascular coat, which is actually vascular coat. This ciliary body and RS, they are muscle if you know. But they are associated with this and they go like this. They attach from sub structures, make ciliary body to attach with the lungs. And here in front, we have this structure is what? Iris. This is what? Iris. And this here is what? Ciliary body. That's clear. The third, this is the middle layer. This one is the middle layer. This is the outermost. This one is the middle layer. The third one which is retina. Retina is actually associated with what? Optic nerve. Associated with what? Optic nerve. Here, definitely we have what? The third layer, this is optic nerve for example, okay. So this one, the green color layer is the retina with optic nerve. Listen again carefully. Normal structure of eyeball is what? They have three layers, three tunics or three coats. They are what? The outermost coat, lined hair blue, it is actually connective tissue coat. It is actually connective tissue coat, which have divided into two parts, sclera and cornea. Next one we have what? It is the tunica vascularis, or vascular layer, or vascular coats, mean made up of mainly blood vessels. They have three structures. It starting from posterior, we have choroid, which is actually vascular coat, then which have associated structures, ciliary body and iris. Okay, the lungs is here, uh, sorry, lens is here, you know already. Next one, we have tunica retina, that is the innermost layer, which actually have photoreceptor, which actually have, which people are calling rod and cones, they are, they actually have photoreceptor which detect photon, which detect. So we want to understand today what is septum lucidum. We want to understand today what is. For this you need to understand first basic mechanism how eyes works. You know this. If this is, you know sun, okay. Sun lights from an object coming on to your lens. From here, they reflect toward the, they go to the, no, listen again. They act on the retina. They act on to the, these rays are what? They are photon. Light is what? Light particle is what? On retina, we have what? Photoreceptor that photoreceptor will absorb this light and this send this message through, through optic nerve to the brain, to the brain. Brain do what? They will understand this message, translate this message and develop the image of the object which is observed by eye, which is observed by eye. This is how normally your eyes work. Okay, sunlight on the object, then go into the lens, then go into the photoreceptor of the retina layer. This will send into the brain and brain will process the image.